If I was to tell you that beneath an unassuming patch of scrubby grass in the Kiel naval base in Germany, one of Germany's most famous battleships has been buried, you'd probably think I was lying or mad. But incredibly it's completely true. The remains of a battleship does indeed lie unmarked and forgotten today. How this came about is a fascinating and slightly unreal story associated with the destruction of Hitler's wartime navy. The ship's name? the Admiral Scheer. The 1919 Treaty of Versailles, signed after World War I, stipulated that Germany was not allowed any warships over 10,000 tons in displacement, effectively preventing Germany from possessing battleships. The post-war Weimar Republic's navy, the Reichsmarine, was already edging towards disregarding these restrictions before Hitler came to power, and a clear plan was hatched to circumvent Versailles and build more powerful capital ships. The Germans created the so-called Panzerschiffe, or armoured ships, basically heavily armoured cruisers that mounted battleships' guns, giving rise to the term pocket battleships. Three ships were built between 1929 and 1936, the Deutschland class. Each vessel was about 12,500 tons at standard displacement, and radical in how weight was saved. They were the first major warships to use welding rather than riveting, and were all diesel-powered instead of using oil-fired boilers. When the Nazis came to power in January 1933, they continued the program, resulting in the completion of the three vessels, Deutschland, Admiral Scheer, and Admiral Graf Spee. The class first saw action in the Spanish Civil War, the Admiral Scheer bombarding the port of Almeria with her 11-inch or 28-centimeter guns. Just before World War II broke out, the Germans put Deutschland and Admiral Graf Spee to sea to start commerce raiding as soon as Britain declared war on the 3rd of September 1939. The Deutschland returned to Germany and was hastily renamed the Lutzol. It was thought wise not to risk a ship carrying the nation's name. The Graf Spee had a spectacular run until brought to battle by three British cruisers in the South Atlantic. Damaged, she put into neutral Montevideo harbour in Uruguay. Her captain, convinced that strong British reinforcements awaited his ship if he left the harbour, scuttled the Graf Spee in the River Plate, where she still lies today. The Admiral Scheer was, like her sisters, 186 metres or 610 feet long, with a beam of 21.5 metres or 70 feet. Her full load displacement was 15,420 tonnes. Her top speed was 28.3 knots, and she could cruise at 20 knots for 9,000 nautical miles. Her complement was 30 officers and up to 1,040 ratings. The Admiral Scheer was in action interdicting Allied convoys supplying the Soviet Union through the Arctic, including the famous attack on convoy PQ-17. From the end of 1942 until the end of 1944, she was used as a training vessel in Germany, before using her heavy guns to support German ground forces resisting the advancing Red Army. By March 1945, the Admiral Scheer's guns were worn out by constant use, and she was in need of repair. On the 8th of March, she began a voyage to Kiel to have her guns re-lined, carrying 800 civilian refugees and 200 wounded German soldiers. But a minefield prevented her arrival, and she instead unloaded at Schwienemünde before returning to action, shelling Soviet forces outside the city of Kolberg until she ran out of ammunition. Loaded with refugees, the Admiral Scheer arrived in Kiel on the 18th of March 1945, mooring at the Deutsche Werke Basin. Her stern turret had its guns replaced in early April. Allied air power proved to be the downfall of many of Germany's capital ships in 1944-45. The battleship Tirpitz was the first to go, bombed on the 12th of November 1944 by the Royal Air Force's famous Dambuster Squadron, number 617, hit several times by enormous 12,000-pound tallboy bombs in Tromsø Fjord in Norway, the Tirpitz capsized. 
Germany's remaining surface warships were often immobile in ports due to lack of fuel and ammunition, making them prime targets for aerial attack. The wrecked battlecruiser Gneisenau was scuttled as a block ship in Gdynia Harbor in Poland. The night of the 9th of April 1945, the Admiral Scheer was in the Kiel Harbor when 300 British Lancasters attacked. At least five 12,000 pound tall boy bombs struck the ship or near the ship. Crippled, she rolled over and completely capsized, her superstructure resting on the floor of the quay. It has been suggested that the Admiral Shia, along with other heavy cruisers and battleships, was specifically targeted for destruction by the RAF, as there was a fear that the Soviets would claim the pocket battleship as a war prize. Kiel fell under the British zone of occupation in post-war Germany. In July 1945, the British authorities began scrapping the Admiral Shia. The valuable manganese bronze propellers were the first to be removed, followed by sections of armour plate, the keel, steel sheets and other non-ferrous metals. Some of it was removed using explosives, divided up into 200 to 350 ton segments, and taken ashore by cranes as scrap. As the scrapping process reached the waterline, the wreck was rolled slightly, so some items above the waterline could be removed. The metal removed from the Admiral Scheer was shipped to Hamburg and thence to England. By July 1946, as much as possible had been removed from the ship. She then sat in economic limbo. The only way to complete the scrapping was to tow the wreck to a graving dock, which was too expensive a proposition at the time. Then, in 1949, the decision was taken to get rid of the section of harbour where the wreck sat. This section of the old naval base was artificial, a basin connected by a narrow channel to the main harbour. At the time, no one thought that Germany would be permitted a navy again, let alone large warships. In late 1949, the channel into the basin was cofferdammed off and drained. Then the quay, where the wreck of the Admiral Scheer sat, was filled in with a huge volume of sand and thousands of tons of rubble from Kiel's bombed-out districts. It is possible to locate the pocket battleship today, at where she lies inside the new Kiel naval arsenal, below a long line of trees and grass beside a car park. It is possible to pinpoint the location because of this large building seen in this 1945 photograph. This building survived the bombing and the war and still exists today, and provides a point of reference for locating the wreck. So, though no marker lists the spot today, below some scrubby grass and stumpy trees in a quiet corner of the Kiel naval base lies the desiccated carcass of the last World War II German battleship in existence, above water, the Admiral Scheer, the battleship that history literally buried. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and share, and also help support my channel at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.